Is it too early to be doing a Christmassy video? Yeah, probably, but it's not too early to be thinking about Christmas shopping. So in this video, we have selected five Christmas present ideas for sailors for under $50. And one of them has a discount, which expires in 10 days, so keep watching. So starting in no particular order with one of my favourite things that I have on board and off the boat at all times. Yes, because actually that was one of the considerations with some of these, isn't it? Small items. Yes, and uh, this is one of them. Just take it out of my pocket. It's so small you can't even see it's it. It's that small. Yeah, it's this. It's a multi-tool. Which I'm sure a lot of sailors already have. We all yeah. have leather mans, don't we? Yeah. Which are Normally it's sort of a bit bigger, but that is tiny. It's really tiny and it has a little carry pouch and there's a little thing on the back so you can put it on a, on a belt. But I just keep it with me all the time in my bags, pockets, whatever, wherever I am. And I thought it would be good to put in the grab bag when we do passages. So you can't actually buy this one. So that's not really very useful for everybody because I got given this when I bought a whole load of fishing gear in Thailand uh, four years ago and it's still brilliant. Mm. But I have found um, two equivalents on Amazon. There's a very small Leatherman and a very small Gerber. Put in the description below links to both of those. So get one of these if you haven't already. It's just useful to have you on you all the time. Yeah, and by the way, those links in the description, they some of them are affiliate links, which basically means we get a little commission, tiny commission, if you use that link, but you don't pay any more. And we are not affiliated with any of these products, by the way, when this is not sponsored, these are just our ideas. Yeah, these are things that we use. They are things that we use all the time. Yeah. And we have used that loads. Yes, it saved us a few times. It's so small. <laughs> okay. Next up, another small thing, which let's see, I think I can almost fit it in my hand so you can't see it. Now, our rigger, Jai, introduced us to these. He bought me two of them for a birthday present. And when he gave them to me, I was a bit like, awesome. yeah, all right, open it up. Now, some of you may have seen these already, but it is a shopping bag and it rolls up to next to nothing. But the most important thing about this is that it holds 44 pounds. That's about 20 kilos, yeah. 20 kilos. They are super tough. And as I say, they roll up tiny, 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 so that you can fit them in the palm of your hand. This one's from Envirosax, which is Australian make. And I think they are the absolute best because we've got a variety. You don't we need have, to open them all, but we have a few. <laughs> Because you can buy them in most shops, and I'm sure whichever country you're looking and watching this from, you have seen them. But these particular ones are fantastic. They are the best. We love them. And, mm. you know, I think as yachts as well, when you go off provisioning, sometimes you're provisioning for weeks at a time. Yeah. And that does mean that you're buying a lot of food in bulk. Yeah. One of those can carry a lot of cans of baked beans. Bloody loads. Yeah, it really can. And a few beers. So I think we've got about eight or ten of them and they'll do a, almost an entire provision trip. So have a look in description. Really, really recommend this particular make. Now it's my turn. What's next? Oh, the next thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, picked this up ages ago in Ikea. Uh, can't link to Ikea below, but I have linked to something very similar on Amazon. So it's quite boring. It's a silicon trivet and it's raised and it has a little hanging bit here for it but we use it all the time in fact it lives on the cooker doesn't it so i put the fresh bread on it we put pots coffee pots everything um, in fact we should have got more than one mm. we should have got a few uh, it's completely indestructible uh brilliant for boats because look it folds we're all about the fold today <laughs> and the smallness uh, really easy to put and, and do you remember when we did we did eight uh ideas we did a similar video to this a couple of years ago mm. and we featured another silicone product which was our collapsible colander yes. which again we use all the time so silicon is a really good product and this list says they're indestructible yeah love it right now i've got an admission to make we said five items for under 50 dollars but i've broken the rule here have you yes oh. because I just needed to get this in. 
I have three different samples here. It's the Olympus Tough. This is the 850, this is the TG4, and this is the TG5. So I know you're all saying, hold on, hold on, you said cheap, but of course, cheap is a relative term. And yes. I think if you've seen some of our underwater footage that we've taken recently in places like the Anambas and around Indonesia, I think you'll agree that the footage that you get from these cameras is really good. So it's cheap in terms of underwater cameras? Definitely, yeah. absolutely. And the Olympus Tough range is a big, big seller. And yes, it is more than $50, but here's the thing. They're now on the TG6. Right. We bought the TG5 thinking it would be an improvement on the TG4. And I have to say there is no difference in the quality okay. of these. I went to Amazon to check the prices. Turns out TG4 is still more expensive than the newer TG5. Oh. So this was obviously a bit of a winning uh, model, this one. Um, they come with underwater filters. And I think that's the key thing is that it adds in that red filter that you need when you're doing underwater photography and filming. But I did want to mention the much earlier TG850, which you can still buy because it has the flippy screen. And of course, the flippy screen is very useful if you're vlogging and doing or even just taking selfies. I'm not sure how much you can pick up one of these for. Now, we've put some links below to Amazon. But of course, if you check out eBay, if you can pick up a good one or a reconditioned second hand one, then they are really worth getting. Sorry, it's over $50. <laughs> but Cheat. I had to put it in there. So the last one, this is the one with the discount. And it is our top seller. It is an FTB mug and we would not be without this. I had this on the go all day. They're various varieties. We are giving a discount for the classic FTB mug. Um, can't remember how much it comes out at, but one of the ways you could get it is to become an FTB mate rank of helmsman then you get one of these free so that's an option for you put a link to that but if you want one of our mugs and they are great discount yes discount code is xmate is it yeah get it xmate as in xmas oh. X, xmate anyway put it on the uh, screen in the description below one of the reasons why we're mentioning this now is that Along with FTB Mates, one of the ideas we've had is to completely revamp our shop for 2020. Yeah. So a lot of the products that you can currently get in our shop, we are going to be getting rid of, and we're going to be introducing some new products as well. We're going to be rolling this out as and when we can in the next few months. Yes. So this is your opportunity to grab one of these now. And as Liz says, it is our best selling thing, our merch in our shop. Yeah, love it. Is that it? Uh, no. Mini update? Oh, that, sorry, yes, yeah, that was right. Update. So, so many of you got in touch with us uh, because we gave you an update on her recent medical situation. She had been losing a lot of weight recently, got very skinny, got, went off her food, wasn't pooing, wasn't weeing. So we took her to the vets mm -hmm. and we ended up getting an SDMA test, which tests for kidney failure. And uh, it's a fairly recent test, which we advise any cat owners to consider getting yeah because most other blood tests will not recognize the early onset of kidney failure. So we did this, yep. and Millie is in stage two, unfortunately, of kidney failure. She's at the very beginning of stage two, so there's stage one, stage two, and it goes to stage four. So she's the least threatened of stage two, but she has it. And once a cat has kidney failure, there's no going back. It won't get better, but what you can do is prevent it getting worse. Yeah, so. We've now established that it, this is what it is, and she's on a new diet. She is now eating normally, drinking normally, and happy to report she's pooing and weeing normally yeah, as important. well. Yeah, so she's a much happier little cat now. Still a way to go, but definitely on the mend. The biggest news is, though, she will not be allowed to have any fish. Dun, dun, dun. She doesn't so know sad. Yet. We haven't told her. Um, That's so going to break our hearts. And the next fish yeah. we catch, you've seen what she's like. She yeah. goes mental for that fish. So it's going to be very sad to not let her have her any. I'm, I'm even toying with the idea of not fishing. I haven't told you that yet, but I can't bear it. Anyway, thank you to everyone who sent us messages. We really do appreciate it. In the meantime, 
Merry Christmas. And peace and fair winds.